Hey everybody, welcome. It's Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. Thanks as always for tuning in and watching the video today. First of all, apologies to all you people out there who follow my channel. Um, I haven't done any YouTube for well over a month now. It's been what I call my silly season here in my Golf Academy over in the UK here. March, April is when a lot of golfers who don't play golf in the UK, they kind of come out of hibernation. The phone starts ringing, the email's going mad. Everyone wants a golf lesson. And the last three or four weeks, I have been flat out. No time in my diary to do YouTube videos, unfortunately, but there's a little gap opened up today. Had a couple of cancellations. Thought, right, make the effort, post the YouTube review. I also sent a little YouTube review out, uh, not review, just um, a little chat really, asking what sort of content you would be interested in me making because I just find doing club reviews all the time a little bit boring, to be quite honest. I'll keep doing them, but I wanted to just to start introducing other topics. Um, club reviews can be a bit samey, can't they? Everyone's saying wonderful things about these products. So time to go off in some different directions. And something I've done on and off on YouTube is some, uh, some tips, uh, instructional videos, just kind of pass on some of my um, experiences and a bit of the knowledge that I've built up over the years. So today we're going to show you uh, three of my favorite swing drills, which I use pretty much day in, day out with my pupils here in my academy. They're very simple, well, I hope they're simple, and they come across that way, but they're very effective and they deal with three specific things in the swing, which again, can be everyday common occurrences. So I hope you enjoy the content. It's not gonna be an ultra long video. Um, my three best swing drills are coming up, so stay tuned. So in no particular order, number one, and I've done videos in the past on this, so people who've watched my videos from day one will think he's done this before, and I know I've done this one, but uh, there'll be a lot of people new to the channel who've maybe not seen this. One of the um, big issues I see in golf swings is lack of wrist hinge, wrist cock, wrist set, whatever you want to call it, where people go back to somewhere into this position, fail to get much of a wrist set, and then end up sort of collapsing their lead arm, their left arm, if you're a right-handed golfer, causing all sorts of issues. When you watch the great players out there, they all tend to set the club very well at this sort of what I call this L-shaped position, set the club, and then rotate up to the top. And I think that's a real building block of the golf swing, the wrist set, the wrist hinge, then kind of sets up the, the leverage on the downswing to be able to release the club. Or people's coming into my golf academy here seem to struggle a lot with that, understanding what wrist hinge is and how to do it. So I've nicked these to, uh, this drill off. I can't remember who it was where I saw this. It could have been, I can't remember to be quite frank, <laughs> who showed me this video, but um, this technique, but this is the split hand drill. Um, basically what you do is you take your normal setup, you split your bottom hand. If you're a right-handed golfer, your right hand, pretty much as far away from the left as you can. You can see here, I've got my first finger and thumb on the, on the steel of the shaft. And I hold the club out a little bit out in front of me off the ground. And all I'm gonna do from here is just rotate the body. I'm just turning my back to the target. You can see how the club gets set really nicely here. Often referred to as the thumbs up drill. Both thumbs pointing up to the sky. Left arm stays comfortably straight. Wrist hinge gets set nice and early. It's also quite a good drill for people who, who overswing the club. And you can see here, I'm kind of limited as to how far back I can get unless I collapse that left arm. So this is the, the split hand drill. You do a few repetitions into this position and then join the hands up and away you go. So for you golfers out there struggling to set the wrist or understanding wrist hinge, that's drill number one. Drill number two is to help the golfers out there who are struggling a little bit with rotation. Um, struggling how to balance maybe and combine the sort of the turn, uh, the rotation of the body in the golf swing. This is a hitting drill as well as a drill you can do in your back garden or if you're watching in America, your backyard, um, wherever you've got space to swing a golf club really. Take any club you like. I've got a seven iron here. 
I'm going to take my normal grip and setup, and I'm going to put my feet completely together. Okay, knees are touching, a little bit of bounce in the knees to keep me balanced. And all I'm going to do here is just some nice gentle swings with my feet together. Now with the feet this close together, I really have to concentrate on rotating the body. If I get any lateral movement or sway off the ball on the backswing, I'm literally going to fall over. Same applies to the downswing. I've made a good backswing, but any lateral movement and I'm falling over like I'm uh, a bit drunk. So you can try this with or without a golf ball. It's very good as well if your swing's a little bit discoordinated, discoordinated. Is that a real word? Probably, maybe not. Um, your swing's a little bit out of sync. It's probably a better way of putting it. You've maybe been playing in very windy conditions and your top half's maybe working a little bit faster than your bottom half. Hitting some nice gentle wedges or nine irons with your feet together is a good way of re-coordinating the golf swing. That's tip and drill number two. Final drill, you need a head cover. And just so happens, I've got a head cover in my pocket. Any head cover will do, putter cover, head cover, glove, towel rolled up. This applies to right-handed golfers, just reverse it if you're a left-handed golfer. And it really helps with one of the most common faults in golf, which is the out to in, over the top downswing, where basically we would maybe put the club in a decent position at the top, end up changing directions for whatever reason, and there are many, basically we then start swinging the club out to in, arms get disconnected, club exits left, we're gonna end up pulling the ball or slicing it, depending on what the club's doing at impact. Again, old drill. Many of you out there will be going, oh no, not this old one. I've seen this one before. Probably many of you have, but some of you may have not. Get the head cover. Tuck it underneath your left arm, your right armpit, and apply a little bit of pressure. So I'm just holding that head cover in. Not too tight, but tight enough to stop it falling out. Swing it up to the top and try and make a downswing towards the impact position, somewhere around here, holding onto that cover. I'm applying a little bit of pressure to hold that in. Have a look down the line here now, what happens? So you can see here, as I apply a little bit of pressure, this right arm and elbow stays a little bit closer to the body and stops me swinging out to him. Now, if I did swing a little bit out to him, that head cover's dropping out straight away. So you should be able to hold that cover in place to round about sort of impact position, maybe just a bit before it, and then it's quite happy to fall out. Try that without the ball, try a few repetitions, and then stand up and hit the ball with that feeling that the right arm is a bit more connected to the body, and it may cure your over the top issues. So those are three of my top swing drills for this week. I'll be posting some more over the next coming weeks. Hope you find one of those may help your golf game improve. Give it a go, post your comments down below, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.